Hello everyone, this is Alexi. End of September I'm going to be at InnoTrans trade show in Berlin. So if you're willing to learn about silicon carbide power solutions from Lipper Semiconductor, I'll be happy to meet with you there in person. And now let's check what is new in power semiconductors industry. Digitalization, growth of cloud technologies, artificial intelligence, ongoing pandemic, decarbonization plans and the other global trends set new standards, requirements and challenges to power electronics industry, especially to end products like uninterruptible power supplies. For a long time power semiconductors like thyristors, diodes and IGBTs were used for rectifiers and inverters of the UPS systems. However, with the mass introduction of silicon carbide devices, it became possible to design more compact and efficient UPS systems. Nowadays, more manufacturers of interruptible power supplies are searching for the ways to deliver new generation systems with new generation power semiconductors, and many of them tend to choose silicon carbide power modules instead of IGBTs for their new designs. Lipper Semiconductor's wide silicon carbide power modules portfolio includes top solutions for the UPS industry. Thus, e 2 series silicon carbide power modules correspond to all requirements of UPS R&D engineers. All e 2 series silicon carbide power modules provide best-in-class low switching losses. Renesas Electronics announced the development of a new generation of silicon IGBTs which will be offered in a small footprint while providing lower losses. Aimed at next-generation electric vehicles, AE5 generation IGBTs will be mass-produced started in the first half of 2023 on Renesas 200 and 300mm wafer lines at the company's factory in Naka, Japan. Additionally, Renesas will ramp up production started in the first half of 2024 with its new power semiconductor 300mm wafer fab in Kofu to meet the growing demand for power semiconductor products. Ashib Electronics Europe has launched a total of five new third-generation 650V silicon carbide MOSFET devices for industrial equipment. These highly efficient and versatile products will be used in a variety of demanded applications including switch mode power supplies and interruptible power supplies for servers, data centers and communication equipment. We will also find applications in renewable energy including photovoltaic converters and bidirectional DC-DC converters such as those used for electric vehicle charging. SK Siltron CSSEO and other executive leaders recently had the honor of joining the SK Siltron team in Gumi, South Korea to celebrate the commissioning of the state-of-the-art silicon carbide fab facility. Not only will this facility increase silicon carbide wafer and epitaxy capacity, but it will also strengthen capability in the high-volume manufacturing of semiconductor wafers. Marelli Motorsport, the motorsport business unit of the global automotive supplier Marelli, with an extensive experience in the development of hybrid and electric systems for major motorsport championships, and the Power Electronics Innovation Center of Politecnico di Torino announced a new collaboration regarding the gallium nitride technology area for power electronics aimed at electric engines. The project is included in a wider framework research partnership between Marelli and Politecnico. The collaboration is aimed at the design and prototyping of an innovative multi-level 900V high-power inverter for electric traction based on gallium nitride technology. Silicon carbide MOSFETs and Schottky diodes are revolutionizing the solar photovoltaic industry, enabling increased switching speed and energy efficiency, resulting in smaller, lighter, low-cost systems. Join WorldSpeed for this webinar, where you will explore the fast-growing low-power single and three-phase photovoltaic energy storage systems, where the new silicon carbide device and package options are enabling cost-performance-optimized solutions for residential and smaller commercial applications. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, more Power Semiconductors market news coming next week. Meanwhile, go to my blog for more information or get in touch with me on LinkedIn. Have a good day.